All right, in topic 1-1, we're going to be learning about patterns with exponents and powers of 10. You might want to ask, what is an exponent? <clears throat> it's this little guy that is attached to what we call a base number. So a base number can be anything from 0 to infinity. That means endless. And the same thing with an exponent. So what I need for you to do now is to stop the video and copy these six problems down. Go ahead and do that now. Okay, so whatever I put up here, go ahead and put those in your notes, okay? So a base number is technically a bigger number. Mm, that's too big of a paint. Let's uh, erase this real quick. Again, a base number can be any number. I'm just going to pick 5. Let's just say 5. And an exponent is a little guy. <clears throat> so let's put, uh, let's, put, let's put a 3 up there. Okay? That means 5 to the 3rd power. This is saying 10 to the 3rd power. 10 to the 5th power. 10 to the 8th power. Okay, now a lot of kids get confused and they see this and they think it's 5 times 3. Well, why not just put an X right there? I mean, it doesn't mean that. It's a shortcut. It's an abbreviation, like in language arts. What it means is the little guy tells the big guy how many times to multiply itself. So it's saying 5, you need to multiply yourself 3 times. So it looks like this expanded form. 5 times 5 times 5. So there's 1, 2, 3. So it's like a shortcut. So 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5 is 125. And there's your answer. Okay? So that's all it means. Also, you're going to be learning about the butt cheek method. It only works when your base is not a 5, not a 4, not a 13. It has to be a base 10. It only works when your base is a number 10. Okay? So what I want you to do now is go ahead and push pause and see what you come up with for 3 times 10 to the third power. Go ahead and do that now. All right, so here we can say 3 times 10. The little guy tells the big guy how many times to multiply itself. Times 10 times 10. Now you can do this because of Commutative property of multiplication, we could do 3 times 10, or we could do 10 times 10 times 10 times 3, or combination of the two, or many ways. We could do 3 times 10 is 30, times 10 is 300, times 10 is 3,000. Or we can do 10 times 10 is 100, times 10 is 1,000, times 3 is 3,000. So it doesn't matter which way you do it, because of commutative property, or even associative property, you get 3,000. Now, the butt cheek method. You can ask yourself, if you look at the exponent, the exponent is going to tell you how many butt cheeks you're going to have. That means three butt cheeks. Problem is, where is the decimal on all whole numbers? A lot of students want to say it's in front. It's not there. That's three-tenths. It's always behind it. You don't see it, but it's there. So if we make one, two, three butt cheeks, fill the empty butt cheeks in with zeros, guess what? We get the same answer, 3,000. If that's what you got, great job.
you were saying? Now, go ahead and push pause and see what you come up with this one. All right. So, we can act like these zeros do not exist, and we can say 2 times 1 is 2. But then we have to go back and add the zeros, which is 1, 2, 3. And the answer is 2,000. Now, if you want to write this with an exponent, this would be 2 times 10. How many zeros are there? 1, 2, 3. 2, to the, two times 10 to the third power, which you would still get the answer of 2,000. You got that? Great job. You were saying? Now, try to use the butt cheek method on this. Go ahead and push pause and see what you come up with 5 times 10 to the 5th power. Okay, so if we wanted to write this out in expanded form, it would be 5 times 10, 1, times 10, 2, times 10, 3, times 10, 4, times 10, 5. Now, because of associative or uh, property, we could do 5 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, or just do all the 10s. 10 times 10 is 100, times 10 is 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, and times 5 is 500,000. Or, you got to start practicing circling your answers. Or you do 5, where's the decimal on the whole number? Right there. You don't see it, but it's there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Fill in the empty butt cheeks with zeros. And put a comma in. And there's your answer of 500,000. If you got that, great job. You were saying? Now notice that the whole number times a thousand or a hundred is on the whole numbers on the left this is on the right this is commutative property they just switched it you still come out with the same answer i'd like the zeros are not there nine times one is nine but now you got to go back and add the zeros which is 900 or if you want to write this a different way, it would be 10 to the second power times 9, which is still 9. There's a decimal and two butt cheeks, which would give you still 900. I probably forgot to tell you to push pause, but if you got 900, great job. Saying? Oh, this one's got a big exponent. So go ahead and push pause now and see what you come up with for 8 times 10 to the 8th power. All right, so I'm not going to write it like this one over here, but you're going to have 8 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, which is 6 times 10, which is 7 times 10, which is 8. 
I'm going to use the butt cheek method. So there's the decimal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kind of hard to deal with a with a mouse. Fill in the empty butt cheeks with zeros. And everything to the left of the decimal is grouped in threes. So we got a comma here. One, two, three. We got a comma here. One, two, three. So my answer is eight million. This is the hundreds. This is the thousands. And this is the millions. So if you got that, great job. You were saying? All right, your last problem is six times 10,000. Go ahead and push pause. Tell me what you get. Now, obviously, you can still use the butt cheek method on this one. How many zeros are there? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four butt cheeks. And add in the zeros. And you get one, two, three, sixty thousand. Circle your answer. Or you can do it six times one is six. Then you got to go back and add the zeros. Oops, let's erase that. There's four zeros, which is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, comma, sixty thousand. Or you can write it as ten or six times ten to the fourth power, which means four zeros, two zeros, three zeros, one, two, three, three zeros again, five zeros, one, two, three, four, five, eight zeros, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there you go. So if you got 60,000, Great job. And that's all there is to patterns with exponents of power of 10. The butt cheek method only works. It doesn't work with this one. It only works if your base number is a 10. So that's very important to remember that. All right. I hope you learned something and I will see you tomorrow. saying